Giga, I know it's probably been a, a bit of a roller coaster for you over the, uh, the last 24, 36 hours or so. So what's, uh, what was your reaction, I guess, to the announcement yesterday that the, the featherweight title fight is, is filled in? Uh, I don't know. Made me a little bit upset, but I have things to do. I'm here for my life opportunity, you know, the, so... Let's talk about that. <laughs> I, like I, I did wonder if maybe there's any chance it was, I don't want to say a blessing. I mean, you'd want the title shot, right? But at least now you know I don't have to worry about anything else except what's ahead. I mean, is there any a, a positive spin to it? Uh, doesn't change my uh, attention about this fight. You know, I know that when I finish the guy who I'm facing him right now, uh, number ranked five, I'm the next. You know, even... Even if the, somebody gonna fight uh, Tyrell, winner gonna fight me. So I, I'm standing right there and uh, waiting my chance. So let's see what happens. You know. Yeah, I know that you've been very respectful of Calvin. What, what is it about his game that's because you said he, he might be your most dangerous opponent? So what is it about him that, that has earned your respect so much? Uh, he has some good hands, uh, strong. He's knockout power guy. You know that's why. That's why I give him some credit, you know, that he finishes this guy. Some people throw a 500 punch and cannot finish the guy. This guy can take a 500 punch and keep moving forward, and uh, usually he finishes this guy. That's why this fight excites me. He's never been a broken. He's never been a knocked, down, knocked out and knocked down. So that's a challenge to me this time. Yeah. Is, is he the type of owner that excites you, I guess, I mean, given your long history of striking and all that you've done your whole life? I mean, do you like the idea of knowing that somebody is probably going to try to stand toe to toe with you? Mm, I don't think so. He he going to try to wrestle me. I guarantee you that. <laughs> <laughs> you you expecting him to just come out right away, or do you think you're going to catch him and then he'll change? You know the the panicked wrestler, as it's been said before. I'm just going to go there and be me. You know I'm a ninja, and I, I'm going to be a ninja again this uh, Saturday in Octagon. Uh, I miss this place a lot. Uh, you know, this is my home, I believe, right now. And uh, I want to enter there and uh, enjoy the, every single second I'm going to spend there. Nice. I know you talked to Dana earlier in the week. Uh, have, you, have you sought him out again to go talk to him again and, go, and say, hey, what's, what, what, are you, what are you doing to me, man? <laughs> no, I have not seen him yet. Uh, and I believe uh, the best thing to do is take care of the business and uh, catch him right after. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Do you think you have to get a fin? I mean, do you need to do something special to kind of ensure that you're the next in line? Or do you think it's just a win? I think I've been too nice all my career. And maybe it's time to talk some shit. It, and I will talk some shit to them. There is a the reason probably how the people uh, sell sells the pay-per-view uh, card and they want to see it. Just wait for my track talk. <laughs> I learned the English very well now and I'm ready to go. Fantastic. Yeah. One last question, uh, a little off topic, but uh, Bill Algio, he's on the card here. Have you, have you ran Fuck into him? Fuck him. I don't even want to give him any credit or attention. Fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> is that an example of the trash talk? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, curious to give you an opportunity to, to practice some of this trash talk. What did you think about Alex taking that fight with Korean Zombie? And if it wasn't, if you don't include yourself, who do you think he should have fought? Yeah, that's a little chump, you know. He's uh, taking the easy task. So Korean Zombie has a, uh, probably like what seven fight from the last seven fight. He has four and three. I'm in a I'm in a role. I'm a seven and all since I got into uh, UFC. So how can you avoid me? And uh, it's like there is a reason why he's avoiding me, and uh, I understand that. You know, he's fighting the guy who's already a dead. He's a zombie. You know, and I'm here, with a new guy, new blood, new dog, ninja, and you know, I deserve to be standing right there. Is there any part of you that's potentially frustrated by the thought that? If you have a spectacular performance on Saturday, you still might have to wait for Holloway to come back and fight the winner of Volkanovski and Zombie. Or do you think Holloway shouldn't even be in the conversation anymore? Uh, to be honest uh, with you, what I believe, Max Holloway wants to fight Conor McGregor. And I think he's uh, waiting for him. I don't know. That's my feeling, you know. And uh, definitely that's a big payday for him. And... Uh, 
Uh, this guy could fight for Tyro for a long time, and he fight took one more fight, one more fight, and um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's talk about me, my opponent. We can talk about anything about us. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Hi, Giko. Um, you know, we all have seen how close the Georgian fighters are, how much you support each other, go to each other's fights. Um, is there any bit of schedule between you guys about who's going to be the first champion? Definitely. That's a healthy, healthy challenge, I believe. I mean, I would be super happy if Merab gets it a shot soon. But it looks like his friend is a champion, so he's clearly said that I'm not fighting him. Uh, and so far, there is a reality that I'm standing right there. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But that, that thing drives both of us, you know. But not only us, there are so many other fighters in UFC from Georgia now. And uh, makes me so happy, so proud, because we are a small country. and. You know, we've been uh, warriors. Probably in history, we have the, one of the most wars as a country, and we still uh, have this territory. And this is a very good strategical territory, Georgia, and everyone wanted to take advantage and control this place, you know. But so far, never, no one have been able to do it. So I'm very proud to be Georgian, and uh, there are tough guys coming, more fighters coming. And we opened the door for them now, and um, yeah, things going well in MMA in Georgia. Hopefully, one day you guys gonna, I'm gonna take you guys all in Georgia and let you experience. Maybe we will have fight night in Georgia. I just came back from Georgia, Manlova. Really? Oh, <laughs> Magaria. Hey, Giga. Hey. Um, so Calvin took a whole year off after his uh, fight with, with Max. I just wanted your opinion on him taking the whole year off. I think he did a smart decision, you know. Uh, maybe not whole year, but like at least like nine months. It's very important. I don't know how hard he was hit also, but uh, all the... I don't know, if I was me, I probably I would come back very earlier because I could not... I would not leave. I wouldn't be able to leave with that all people saying and talking about you. Uh, but, yeah, maybe maybe he's in the best shape right now. You know, he, he experienced the five round with one of the great featherweights and uh, he's here. Well, let's see. Let's see Saturday what type of Kelvin going to show up. Um, Joseph Benavidez gave his um, nominees for best dressed and um, – he gave you an, a, a honorable mention, but he also said that um, you're you're probably going to be the best dressed in, <laughs> in the coming years. I, I wanted your reaction to that. I feel like you know the people <clears throat> best dressed. Uh, the, this award goes to him because he's been a champ and he's been around. People know about him a lot, and the media. Um, I'm new in media, so you guys going to see some more stuff. It's not only about dressed, you know. Um, I feel like, yeah, if we need to start trash talk, I'll to start trash talk. But there are so much more uh, to be and to be. I, I want to be uh, honestly like the good role model in MMA sports because uh, all this tra trash talk is one thing. And another thing is like what type of person you are, what do you do. Because we fighters, we come from a long way, you know. We, I don't think there is any sport uh, sacrifice so much as we do in total because this sport is like barely just started like what 25 to 30 years history we have you know and um, very proud to be in this era and put uh, this sport on even on another level in the future and finally for me, uh, your teammate Benoit Ariush is fighting Islam um, yeah. in a couple of months. I just wanted your thoughts on that fight and uh, maybe a prediction. Great fight. De definitely Benoit Ariush got this one. I believe he's uh, the best lightweight at the moment. Uh, he's a complete fighter. You know, he has everything. He's me and him. The, the way I got his blessing in grappling, he got a little bit wrestling from me as well in striking, you know. And, He's more than a teammate, guys, uh, just to know. He's more than a friend. He's my part of my family. He's a godfather of my son. And um, this guy is, 
I don't know. I don't. I can't even understand how he can fight. How, how nice guy he is. You know, he's yeah. I don't know. I can't speak about him for all day. Well, thank you. Absolutely. Zombie falls, or uh, or are you willing to to take another fight uh, before April? So, guys, line them up. Every single weekend, you guys are going to see a giga show. I just need an opportunity. I will run through everyone. Once I get a belt, I'm going to defend every single time. I'll be, I will be asking Dana and Sean to give me an opportunity because I come from karate backgrounds. You know, we've, I had the fights for seven fights per day. Uh, I went in kickboxing, eight-man tournaments three fights per night. So they, this is what I love. Yeah, every single time I had the big interviews, I mentioned that when they asked me, what's your hobby? My hobby is my job, what I do. And I want to do this till I, my body can handle it. You know? And uh, you and Ilya keep winning. Uh, is there a scenario where you guys fight each other? I don't think so. I don't think Georgian guys can, uh, can fight. No way. Thank you. Sure. Thank you all, and uh, very quick, big shout out to my team, my supporters, uh, my sponsor, Acharabet, Monster, and Models Company, and also the, because I'm healthy right now, the Dr. Gill from Seraphim Stem Cell uh, gave me a lot of support and put hard work, and also Dr. Mora supported me, and big shout out as well. Otherwise, I will not be healthy today. Thank you.